Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. It's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a great day. And it's a little bit nippy this morning, a little chilly, but that's how we like it, okay? <laughs> okay, let's get started. <clears throat> We're going to jump right into it. Okay, hello, how are you today? I want to talk about your own story, your testimony, what you've been through, your struggle, your ups, your downs, but it's your story, so don't be ashamed of it. That's what I want to talk about today. Your story, your life, your past, everything that has happened to you up until this very moment in time is your story. So own it. You know, don't deny that you've been through X, Y, or Z. Embrace it. Learn from it. And then move forward. That's what we're learning here on this channel. That's what we're learning in life. Um, because we cannot allow people to... Um, force their pain and force their insecurities on us because of something they've been through, okay? Because we've been through our own stuff. We got our own scars, okay? We've been through our own. We got our own story, excitement, rejuvenations, res restorations, disappointments, ups, down. We got our own story. So why not tell your own story? Why not... Um, Talk about all the things that you've been through to help uplift and encourage somebody. And don't allow the negative person to come in and tell you all about their pain and their disappointments. And when they do that, they force their pain onto you. So you don't need that. You don't need that extra baggage. We're starting fresh and we're talking about our own story, our own testimony. Because whatever you've been through whatever you've been through in your life your story is that yours so that's what we're talking about today your story and whatever you've been through how you're learning from whatever you've been through and you're moving forward everybody's experiences are their own that's their life experiences and um, you just have to grow from everything that you've been through um I really appreciate when people give me advice. I am, I am not too grown. I am not too, you know, old to learn new lessons. I always say that because even though I'm uh, with my age, I still learn new things. So I, uh, I encourage advice. I encourage people to say, well, you know, this is what I would do because I ask your opinion. I want to know what's going on. I always listen. I always listen. And I'm always grateful when somebody say, well, this is what I would do. If you ask them, if you say, what would you do? And then if they tell you what they would do, then you, you have to listen. Be grateful and take in what they say. Receive that great advice. Receive it. Receive that advice, that concern, that wisdom, all those good things. But ultimately, you're going to make your own decisions and you're going to live your own life. And that's the great thing about making mistakes. You learn from it and you either move left or right or forward or backwards. Okay, which way are you going today? Okay. <laughs> uh, whatever everybody been through, whatever different people been through, don't mean that those same challenges you're going to go through. So you have to learn to say, okay, I just went down this road. This is what I went through. And I simply have to realize that my own story, my own scars, my own testimony is going to help encourage somebody else. So I'll tell it. But at the same time, though, the other person is going to do whatever they want to. And also, do not allow fear to consume you. Don't allow fear um, of failure to talk you out of living your life to the fullest extent, to the, the best way you can. This is your story. This is your time. This is your season to thrive, to, to be victorious. You know what I'm saying? This is your time. So don't allow anyone to, um, to hold you back and don't allow your own fear 
to hold you back because your story is still unfolding. So remember to be intentional, remember to be purposeful, and remember to always be honest in whatever you do in your walk, in your life. Um, carry those traits, you know, and uh, everything is going to work out. Everything's going to get better. So I just want to remind you that when you walk it through your life, if you say to yourself, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to get better, I want to do all those things, in the midst of of living your life in the midst of learning new things stay in prayer always pray if you're not sure about something pray about it give it a day or two let it work itself out sometimes it does don't have fear consuming you but also at the same time you have to pull real deep from within and that faith that's in there you know that faith your belief you have to hold on to that. You have to say that I know that I'm partnering with God. Okay? I'm partnering with God. So if I partner with God, the remedy is right around the corner. The solution is right around the corner. So as I walk through this life, I don't want to walk alone. I don't want to walk alone. I want to walk with God. But at the same time, all those people giving me advice, if I ask for it, I will receive it. But I also will remember, remember, their story are theirs. Your story is yours. So you have to live your own life. It's wonderful when people give you advice and they tell you, oh, this happened to me or that. I think it's a great resource. But at the same time, do not allow somebody to tell you their story. And then you take in their fears, their anxiety, okay, their depression. Don't take in all those negative things. When they tell you a story or try to give you an example of something, why not look at the bright side of everything? Why not say, oh, thank you. I really appreciate this great advice. And I'm just going to think about it. And that's the way you respectfully decline to get into a back and forth with somebody because you're not going to uh, completely agree. If that person went down um, road A, but you decide to go down road B, you're not going to agree upon it. But they can give you advice on why you should go down uh, road number A, but you decide to go down B because this is your life. This is your story. This is your chapter. This is your time to shine. So this is your own testimony. And all I wanted to do this morning is to remind you of that because as you go in your day-to-day, -day, it's a daily thing when you're trying to live your life and when you have something that, that bump in the road, when you ever you become and you hit that bump in the road, you tend to ask people questions. And when you ask them questions, then they'll give you their advice. So you have to be really careful and listen closely to all those things that you think are pertinent to what's going on in your life. But your story, your testimony, your chapter, your life is your own. Okay? That's all I got for you today. So let's breathe in and breathe out and get this day started. Let's go. Breathe in, breathe out. We thank you, Father. We thank you for this day. And we are so happy and joyful. Remember, wherever you go today, to work, to school, to the airport, wherever you got to go, be kind, be considerate. But most of all, Treat people with respect and have a good day. Have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon.